morning and welcome to wet and windy Winnipeg no sunrise to see again this morning no everything is pretty much the way we left it last night uh, but doing a little bit of thinking about this thing here maybe, maybe we'll talk about it after the rollback uh, let, let's just roll back quickly and and uh, see how it is we got to this place okay I'm guessing it's probably about uh, oh five hours ago now that we painted this up I'm, I this is going to be actually the first time I'm touching it since we did our, our clear coat it feels a lot smoother a lot smoother yeah it, it doesn't have that sandpapery feel to it so uh, yeah maybe I will clear coat my hulls from now on uh, <clears throat> anyway uh, well well I'm not going to do anything with this until tomorrow morning and then we'll we'll mount our hull in the dry dock however I want to get ready to paint some of these smaller pieces and <clears throat> some of them are, have very very subtle differences in fact I can't see the difference between 44 and 43 uh, maybe if I got them side by side they would or it could be that they're shaped <clears throat> so that the rope runs through better one way than the other if you know what I mean anyway so what, what I want to do here is is take it and and mount it on the upturned masking tape like right here okay all right so all right now <clears throat> so we know that this is number 43 so we'll take Tennessee Jim's pen here and hopefully it'll it'll write so this is going to be a 43 okay now 44 Okay, so then what I'll, I'll, I'll know then that these go back into 43 and 44. Now, what is going to happen once I spray this? Like, who, who can tell me what's going to happen? Now, do, do, not all at once. Raise your hands. Okay, you, you in the back there, uh, behind the person that's violently waving his machete in the air. That's right. Once I spray this, I'm not going to be able to read these numbers. So what I'll do is, I'm going to take a picture of this whole thing, and then I can bring my iPad up here to the table, and, you know, should be able to figure it out like that, you know, it'll be our treasure map. Okay. Okay, so we're motoring right along here, and it's going pretty good. And I'm getting to the place where I want to get number 32 in place and then I'm noticing that I think I think to myself well I better check and see wh which way does this protrusion go does it go on to the right or does it go to the left but I think I can see here where trumpeter may have made a mistake I'll put the macro lens on and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so like I was saying before I checked the manual to see which which way does this uh, protrusion go? Does it go to the right or does it go on the left side? And according to like I knew I knew that it mounted on the on the side of the turret. But I thought, okay, if it goes to the right, why is it that the marks from the push out pins is is uh, on the on the on the good side? If you know what I mean. The, initially, I was thinking it, it should go like it should go like this. So I th I think that Trumpeter may have made a bit of a boo boo here when they when they did this one. Um, now I, I think what what I'll do is I'll just sort of try and sand this down just a little bit before I stick it down in the masking tape. But anyway, it's got to go that way. Okay, I think once this is painted, these uh, sanding lines are not going to show. But at least those little circles are gone. I 
I guess I shouldn't be getting grease on it from my finger, should I? Okay, this one here, C30. That's this little uh, vent here. I believe it's it's sort of like a an extended mushroom vent of some kind. And um, it's kind of hard to mount something like this on a rotating block because it's have a tendency to want to flop back and forth. But I, what my thinking on this is that if I put it right here like this and stick it down, okay. Now, now it's not going to blow off of there. And I'm thinking if I come in at a, at a bit of an acute angle like this, and then the same thing from the other side with the airbrush, we'll, we'll get almost right around to the other side, which it appears that it's more or less up against the, the turret anyway, or the, the ba turret base. Um, yeah, so I think that's going to be okay, and if it isn't, well, then we'll do something about it later. Now, let's let's back off here. I want to show you something. Okay, a lot of these pieces, it's going to be really obvious what they are. Like these these little three little pieces right here, they actually go up against these three uh, things. <laughs> uh, Capsons, or sort of, yeah, sort of a capson, so, sort of a windlass type capson, I believe. And then this, this would be for for the chain anchor, but I, I don't think these ones were for a chain anchor. I think they were something else. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then we got 14 of these. These are mushroom vents. They're all the same. Can't get those mixed up. I think I've got everything labeled that has to be labeled. And and clearly, I made a way more uh, tape to stick the parts down that I needed. So so what I've done is I've, I've covered it up with waxed paper here. And uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to peel it off without ripping everything off. Seems to me once before I tried something like that, I can't remember if it worked or it didn't work. It was quite a while ago now. It probably didn't work. <laughs> On the other hand, maybe it did work because I, I probably remember if it, if it didn't. Well we'll, see, well, we'll know when we try to take it off. I think we should be able to peel it off. Uh, okay, I'm making a mountain out of a molehill here, aren't I? I must be getting tired. What do we got here? 728? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's getting on. Um, so, uh, uh, I, I was going to show you something. Maybe, maybe that's what I was going to show you, that uh, we are basically ready to spray here. And uh, we'll, just, we'll just take a snapshot of this, because obviously once I paint, I'm going to cover that up. So, let's... Uh, you know, I, it's pretty bright. I don't think I need the flash. Well, maybe I will use the flash. Okay. Flash on. Okay. I think we've done enough here for tonight. See you in the morning. Well, it is morning. And I was thinking afterwards about the fact that I had said something to the effect of I didn't want to go on to the next page because I'd have, at least my thinking was I'd have just way too many little parts and I get them mixed up. But now, realizing that I can keep them separate, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe we should move on, because we, we've got all this extra space here. You know, there's, there's space for a, a lot of small pieces, and, and it's a lot easier to spray them all at once. Now, you know how I love to sit up and spray with the airbrush, right? So, <laughs> in other words, I, I don't for some reason. So so why not uh, set up as as least number of times as possible? And uh, anyway, we could we could move on here. No, no, that's not exactly what we're going to do today. I'm just thinking about what we could do. We could move on to step fourteen, 
and uh, maybe maybe even 15. I do believe we have enough room on here for all the all these parts on on for 14 and 15. I don't know about for 16. It, it looks like it looks like 16 is uh, there's a lot of little pieces, a lot of little mushroom vents. I don't know if any of them are the same number. Uh, no, the, these these were not the same number. They're a different size. Yeah, well, maybe well we'll worry about step 16 later. But I do think that we could probably do uh, 14 and 15 and get some more parts on here so that I don't have to spray too many times. No, no. Here's uh, another thing. Do we want the break water the same color? Uh, you might say, and and I'm thinking of the 56 again. I'm going to do all of these in 56, even though they're maybe the 77 or whatever would have looked better. But uh, any anyway, uh, thinking out loud here. Um, uh, uh, let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, mount the uh, the hull in the dry dock. Well, there's something that uh, I wanted to talk about. One of the viewers asked me a question. He wanted to know what the the size of those cross pieces were. So we'll, we'll measure that. And uh, but I, I want to talk about that rotisserie. Uh, if I was to do it again, I would do it differently. And I just want to throw an idea out there. For anybody that's thinking of making something like that, I think it could be made better. Anyway, let's, uh, let me get my thoughts together <laughs> and uh, recompose here. Okay, for that viewer who I said I would measure this, I did remember that I'm going to measure it, and so let's do that. But first, if you're going to make yourself a rotisserie, don't make it like this. I'm going to show you everything that's wrong with this. There's only one thing that's right about it, and that is that, you know, it does hold the the hull in four different positions. But anyway, I'll just measure this for you because I said I would, because maybe you want to do something like this, but uh, please don't. Uh, I'm going to tell you a better way to make it. And I might, I might go down in my workshop and, and make one up. I mean, uh, I've got the uh, Iowa, you know, sitting over there, and Maybe something else will come along. The Emoto. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Okay, we got approximately 19 inches, or or just under just under 50 centimeters. Okay. Um, and 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 each one of these is a, is a, is approximately the same. Now, now, if I was to do this again, uh, well, first of all, what's wrong with this is these things here, you're forever catching them on stuff because it's, it's so big. It doesn't have to be this big. It can have a much smaller footprint and do exactly the same thing, even better. Now, now what, I would, what I would do is I would I would take something like a, a long broom handle or even a uh, even something like a, a what, what we call a, a one by two <laughs> uh, you know about about uh, five feet long or however long you need it for your for, for your hull and uh, and I would make it in 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 a cradle at each end and and the rotisserie part would would turn in the in the cradle in sort of maybe like a, a notch and I would I would make it so that I could turn it at a particular angle and then clamp it in that position and I've, I've got enough scraps downstairs in my workshop right now I don't need to go out and buy anything I could probably make up something that'd be pretty good I, I just might do that um, okay now, now while I'm thinking of it when I <laughs> I couldn't help but catch my eye here. You see all these little white speckles on this side of the ship, especially that, that I said were maybe seagull droppings. <laughs> um, Tony was thinking that's dust, and I don't know what it is. I I, I can't believe that I I did not see this on here before I started to spray. 
where did it come from? I, I can't believe I didn't see that and would have brushed it off with a paintbrush or something. Uh, anyway, they're, they're on there and, and that's that. Now this is the side that's going to be against the back of the case and we're not going to see it. The other side's got a little bit on it, but not too bad. I said maybe we'll, we'll put on the, the super macro and uh, like one of these that's, that's quite large and you can see it quite quite good. There's, there's three or four of them that are pretty big. I mean, we'll just get in really close and see what is that? Uh, I, I can't believe that I, I, I painted it when it was so dusty, but hey. Too soon old, too late smart. Anyway, uh, we got to get this thing off of off of the rotisserie and uh, into the cradle. And it seems to me that the cradle is going to take a little bit of uh, reworking because it was uh, it was lengthened out for the uh, for the hood. And I know I've mentioned this before the the hood uh, and or the rather the uh, the the uh, even the, where am I going with this? Anyway, they, we, we've got to rework it. <laughs> I'm having trouble here this morning, aren't I? Okay, let's do what we can do. Yeah, the idea of a rotisserie is good. It's the design is bad. You know, you're always catching these these things on something because it's way too big, or bigger than it needs to be. Okay, I was realizing afterwards that I had. Uh, forgotten to stop my lens down in that last shot. So, uh, I guess maybe the foreground and the background might have been a little bit fuzzy. And you know, I'm big on depth of field if I can get it. Okay. Now this is going to have to be redesigned for this hull. We lengthened it for the uh, for the hood, but it's it's uh, way too big for the for the uh, Rodney here. And uh, on the other hand, can we get by with it the way it is and just sort of maybe move move these in just a little bit? So uh, the idea of something like this is so that you can can grab hold of it and and get it uh, on and off the model table by holding onto this and and even if you were to tilt it over at a 45 degree angle, uh, you know it's not going to slide out of the cradle. Uh, that's that's the whole idea of this. So well, maybe I should shorten it here. You know, I, I can shorten it uh, almost 12 inches, 30 centimeters. Uh, I'll think about it. Okay, I think this is probably the largest one right here. So, what we're going to try to do... Okay, um, gonna have to raise the hull, and I've rigged up a wedge here, so get at the right height. Okay, now the best way to focus something like this on the on the super macro is by sliding the the camera in and out 
I do have a focusing rail. I, I bought it uh, several years ago, but I don't use it because it, it, it is so stiff to operate. I could have probably made myself something better out of wood. Anyway, we, we got it pretty much there. Let's, let's get some extra light on and stop the lens down a little bit and see if we can, see if we can scrape that off. But you know what? Looking at it now in, in the monitor, that is not, that is not dust. That is paint. That is a little splatter of paint. Now that would have had to have come out of the airbrush. I think. I, I, uh, oh. You know what I just realized? Just, just let me recompose here. I'll, I'll try and... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try and get a little sharper on it. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to. But I just realized what must have happened. Okay, I just realized what this is. It's obviously not dust, it's paint, and I do believe it is deck tan. Now, how, how did it get onto the hull? Unless when I was cleaning my airbrush and the hull was maybe too close by the model table. But but that that is... I think rather than try and, and pick these off, I'm probably better off very, very carefully uh, touching them up with, with a little paintbrush. Yeah, that is deck tan. Oh, how stupid. Well, it's the way it goes. Well, this is the, this is the worst side, and this is the side that's going to be against the back of the case. That's the only... Only thing, consolation prize, I guess. Prize. Okay, we are back to just the ordinary macro lens now. This is a uh, thin dot, de uh, hull red, and I'm thinking that. It, yeah, it's going to help. There's no question about it. It could be that we're going to want to do a couple of coats. I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll just try and do the worst of them. And, and one like this one up here, of course I'd have to do that in the black. Um, I think we can sort of cover them up, but at least now I know what it is. I just don't know when I did it. Well, I think I'm going to uh, call it quits for this afternoon. I know when we're zoomed in with the macro lens, we can actually see that dot that we painted over. But, but I can honestly say, let me, let me just check here. Okay, there, there it is. I, I can't, I can't see it with with my glasses. So, um, yeah. Okay, for the for the rest of this afternoon, what I want to do is go down in my workshop and and modify this. Uh, uh, dry dock. So I'm going to uh, say uh, thanks for watching everybody and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.